Hi, I'm Jason and I am Senior Industrial Designer here at Rurock. Before we even put pen to paper, we wanted to gain insights in the world of track riding by understanding and learning about the people, the industry, and what helmets needed to do in the space. Through doing this, we identified opportunities in the Atlas IV uh, that are needed to make the Atlas a suitable helmet for the track environment. We were very fortunate to have Taylor McKenzie on board from early stages uh, to help map out these key features, things like aerodynamics, the comforts and fits, acoustics as well as the thermals. Using virtual reality, we were able to generate 3D data that we could then rapid prototype components and test in real world situations. This allowed us to test multiple options and speed ahead with the design and development process of the helmet, which usually takes a while. It was amazing testing out the designs by working with XBSB racer, Taylor McKenzie and other experienced riders. It was the first time we got to see the helmets in a real world application. And whilst testing in a lab is great, actually being out on track, you get to see so many more unexpected insights. We spent hours testing helmets at different tracks and this ultimately shaped the direction of the Atlas track project. Hey, I'm Daniele. I do some of the graphics here at Rurock. So we started off looking at all the other different brands out there and seeing how their colors and their designs, do they match bikes? You know, are they completely unique? And looking at the sort of styles of them overall. We ended up making a massive board where we kind of compared everything and all the different price points, all the different colors, what bikes they match, etc., etc. After this, we kind of decided the colors we want to go for and we kind of wanted to appeal to everybody. We had the black and the white helmets, which is kind of, you know, Anybody can buy that, whatever bike's gonna match. And then we've got the sort of team red, team blue, and team green after that. Those are the most common colors you'll see. So it made sense to just have those for our first drop for everyone to kind of look after, like, oh, that matches my bike, that matches my bike. No, and appeal to as many people as possible. So to make the helmet look faster, we kind of took the same sort of inspiration as what the engineering team did. We took sort of lengthening of the spoiler and the closing off of the vents and the sharpness and we kind of apply that to the graphics. Instead of like our typical Atlas helmets, you know, everything just, it's just matching the shape of the helmet, but we've kind of taken into consideration the speed and the lengthening. So all like the graphics, they go up and really far back or like really far along the curvature of the helmet. So this kind of helps it feel like you're going faster, like everything's being pulled by the speed of which you're probably gonna be going on a track. To make the design really work with the new style of spoiler and things like that, we had to kind of mimic it essentially and make the design language really work together. Hi, I'm Alicia and I'm a design engineer here at Rurock. So the thing that makes this helmet stand out against its competitors is the Rurock DNA. Rurock products are designed to stand out in all categories and track is no exception. So the main changes that we made to the Atlas IV product to make it more suitable for a track environment was the shell composition and the liner. We were able to evaluate our composition and push the boundaries with the ply book to on average save 15% on weight. With the liner, we looked at weight and ventilation. Both of these resulted in a 10% weight reduction. Through research and our design development, we found that comfort, weight and ventilation makes a good track helmet. Hi everyone, I'm Tom Savage. I'm the Head of Design and Engineering here at Rora. Atlas Track was born from customers asking if the Atlas product could be used on the track. The Atlas 4 was designed with comfort and road riding at the forefront of its design. With that, we went back to the drawing board and looked at how we could build on the Atlas platform with the ACU certification being at the centre of development. A track rider's needs are different to that of a road motorcyclist. You're dealing with a helmet that has to perform at the extreme limit of high speeds and conditions. The Atlas Track has been tailored to track riding by reducing the weight of the helmet, tweaking the the fit of the internal soft goods and reducing the aerodynamic drag of the helmet. Through internal testing and external test sizes, we ensured we met the standards set by ACU, DOT and ECE. Some of the key tests with this helmet were high speed energy linear drop tests as well as helmet conditioning with hot and cold temperatures. The ACU gold standard is awarded to a helmet when it complies with the Auto Cycle Union standard for motorcycle helmet racing use. This certification is recognised worldwide as a track certification. However, each track will have its own requirements depending on location and organisation. The main changes we had to make to meet the ACU gold standard was to change our Fidlock chin strap mechanism to a double D ring. In making this change we looked at what other changes we could make to develop a better performing track helmet. 